Narrated by Abu Huraira. We witnessed along with Allah's Messenger peace be upon him the Kaibar campaign. Allah's Messenger peace be upon him told his companions about a man who claimed to be a Muslim, this man is from the people of the fire. When the battle started, the man fought very bravely and received a great number of wounds and got crippled. On that, a man from among the companions of the Prophet peace be upon him came and said, O oh Allah's Apostle! Do you know what the man you described as of the people of the fire has done? He has fought very bravely for Allah's cause and he has received many wounds. The Prophet peace be upon him said, but he is indeed one of the people of the fire. Some of the Muslims were about to have some doubt about that statement. So while the man was in that state, the pain caused by the wounds troubled him so much that he put his hand into his quiver and took out an arrow and committed suicide with it. Off went some men from among the Muslims to Allah's Messenger peace be upon him and said, O oh Allah's Messenger peace be upon him. Allah has made your statement true. So and so has committed suicide. Allah's Messenger peace be upon him said, O Bilal! Get up and announce in public, none will enter paradise but a believer, and Allah may support this religion Islam with a wicked man. Narrated by Saul bin Sa'd. There was a man who fought most bravely of all the Muslims on behalf of the Muslims in a battle gazway in the company of the Prophet. The Prophet peace be upon him looked at him and said, If anyone would like to see a man from the people of the fire, let him look at this brave man. On that, a man from the people Muslims followed him, and he was in that state, means fighting fiercely against the pagans till he was wounded, and then he hastened to end his life by placing his sword between his breasts and pressed it with great force till it came out between his shoulders. Then the man who was watching that person went quickly to the Prophet peace be upon him, and said, I testify that you are Allah's messenger peace be upon him. The Prophet peace be upon him asked him, why do you say that? He said, you said about so and so, if anyone would like to see a man from the people of the fire, he should look at him. He fought most bravely of all of us on behalf of the Muslims and I knew that he would not die as a Muslim martyr. So when he got wounded, he hastened to die and committed suicide. Thereupon the Prophet peace be upon him said, a man may do the deeds of the people of the fire while in fact he is one of the people of paradise, and he may do the deeds of the people of paradise while in fact he belongs to the people of fire, and verily, the rewards of the deeds are decided by the last action's deeds. Narrated by Ibn Umar The Prophet peace be upon him forbade vowing and said, In fact, vowing does not prevent anything, but it makes a miser to spend his property. Narrated by Abu Huraira the Prophet peace be upon him said that Allah said, Vowing does not bring to the son of Adam anything I have not already written in his fate, but vowing is imposed on him by way of foreordainment. Through vowing I make a miser spend of his wealth. Narrated by Abu Musa While we were with Allah's messenger peace be upon him in a holy battle, we never went up a hill or reached its peak or went down a valley but raised our voices with takbir. Allah's Messenger peace be upon him came close to us and said, O people! Don't exert yourselves, for you do not call a deaf or an absent one, but you call the All-Listener, the All-Seer. The Prophet peace be upon him then said, O Abdullah bin Qais! Shall I teach you a sentence which is from the treasures of paradise? It is La Hala Wala Kuwata Illa Billah. There is neither might nor power except with Allah. 